Thank you for coming to my presentation. Today, I'm happy here to share our recent work about the connection between abstract interpretation and the logic. This is a joint work between the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology and Ant Group. Abstract interpretation is the fundamental theory underlying static analysis. Its key idea is to overproximate the set of all reachable states in the program. However, if the static analysis is imprecise, it may compute the uh, false positive. Abstract interpretation links a concrete domain of states with an abstract domain. For example, the input domain tracks the value range information of variables. Suppose we have two concrete states. One of its over approximation could be A1, which is a bit imprecise. In comparison, the other over approximation A2 is more precise. Intuitively, it is the best or most precise one. How can we compute such best abstraction? The object interpretation theory provides us a declarative specification of the best transfer functions, but the definition is not constructive. Usually, we don't have an algorithm for applying the best transformers or for creating a representation of the best transfer functions. Symbolic abstraction is a framework for automatically synthesizing the best transfer functions. It introduces a third space of values, namely a logical language. A logic can encode the concrete semantics of a program. Intuitively, the models of a formula represent the set of concrete states. Given a formula phi and an abstract domain, symbolic abstraction aims to compute the most precise element in the domain that can overproximate the formula. Actually, symbolic abstraction can be regarded as a fundamental logical approximation problem. Specifically, we can regard an abstract domain as a logical fragment that has some synthetic restrictions, such as the interval domain. Given a formula in a rich logic and a logical fragment, symbolic abstraction aims to compute the strongest consequence of the formula in the fragment. For example, consider a simple nonlinear integer here. It has four models. Its best abstraction in the interval domain is x in 0 to 3. Actually, the interval domain can be regarded as a logical fragment about conjunction of single variable inequalities. Conventionally, to implement a numeric abstract interpreter, we need to independently design and implement the transfer functions for many different statements, such as addition, multiplication, branching, assignment, join, meet, and so on. In comparison, symbolic abstraction allows us to automatically synthesize correct and the most precise transfer functions. However, a major obstacle to adoption is the performance problem. In this work, we propose two efficient algorithms for symbolic abstraction of quantifiably bit vector formulas, which apply to the interval domain and a specific polyhedral domain, respectively. Our basic observation is twofold. First, every bit vector formula is bounded, and second, Variables from programs are often correlated. Based on the observation, our key idea is to leverage the properties to reduce redundant computations in symbolic abstraction. In this talk, I will mainly focus on the polyhedral abstraction part. First, following previous work, we reduce symbolic interval abstraction to optimization modular theory solving. OMT is an extension of SMT. It can accept an objective function f as input and find an optimal model that can maximize f. In this work, we aim to improve the performance of OMT solving based symbolic interval abstraction. Consider a formula here. It has 13 models from P0 to P12. Intuitively, its best interval abstraction is the yellow region. To compute the best interval abstraction, we can solve a multi-objective OMT instance, which has four objectives. After solving the instance, we obtain four models. 
P0, P3, P10, and P12. From the models, we can obtain the final result. To solve OMT instances, we use an SMT-based binary search state algorithm. Consider a simple example here. It has one objective x. Essentially, we attempt to find the larger models repeatedly, during which we update the low, middle, and high for the variable x. For example, suppose that in the first round, the assembly server gives us a model P6. In the next round, we will update the low and the middle for the variable x. Eventually, we will find the, the best model P3. The problem is that for OMT-based symbolic interval abstraction, there may exist many objectives. The binary search state axiom may require a huge number of assembly solver calls. To address the problem, our key idea is to utilize the correlations between different objectives. For example, suppose that we have two objectives x and y, and suppose that in the first round, the solver gives us a model P6. Actually, using the model P6, we can update the low and the middle of x and y simultaneously. Our second algorithm computes the symbolic polyhedral abstraction of a formula. Can we use the previous OMT solving based formulation? No. To use an OMT solver, we need to explicitly specify the objective functions. But for the convex polyhedral domain, we don't know the number of the objectives and the form of each objective. Luckily, in addition to proposing the problem of symbolic abstraction, RSY also proposed an algorithm for solving it. To compute the best abstraction of a formula in a given domain, the key idea is to iteratively sample models of the formula, which are used to update an intermediate abstraction. This process terminates until the final abstraction can cover all the models of the formula. It's a bit similar to conventional fixed point iteration, but it can compute the, the best abstraction under certain conditions. The key problem is that this process can be very expensive. It may take a long time to terminate. Now let's consider the previous formula. It has 13 models from P0 to P12. Intuitively, its best polyhedral abstraction is the convex whole of all the models because it is the smallest convex site covering the models. To compute the best polyhedral abstraction, a naive solution is to first enumerate all models and then compute their convex whole. This is impractical because a formula can have many, many models. Now let's consider the R-SV algorithm. By iteratively sampling models and generalizing an intermediate polyhedron, it can avoid explicitly enumerating all models. For example, suppose we have computed three models, P8, P6, and P9. We will compute its convex hole as an intermediate polyhedron. It can cover the model P7 automatically. Next, we need to sample a new model which could be P5. We then compute a new intermediate polyhedron, which can only cover five models. Proceeding like this, the RSY algorithm may take a long time to stop. Essentially, RSY samples an arbitrary model that is not covered by the current abstraction. However, the new model may not have much in covering additional models. Our approach follows the RSY framework. In comparison, we attempt to sample extreme models which may help the convergence. For example, intuitively we know that the models P0, P1, P3, P10, and P12 are extreme. If we can compute the final models, their convex hole is exactly the final solution. In this way, we can compute the fewer models than the RSY approach. Luckily, such models always exist because every bit of the formula is bounded. Now, here is the key challenge. How can we automatically compute such extreme models? 
we only see a formula and always models are implicit. Our solution is to use symbolic interval abstraction. For example, first we will compute a symbolic interval abstraction and obtain four models P0, P3, P10, and P12. Using the four models, we can compute an intermediate polyhedron which can cover many models. Next, we compute the symbolic interval abstraction subjected to the uncovered models. We can obtain two models P1 and P2. And finally, we obtain the final polyhedron. We have described the two RSOS-STAIR approach for symbolic polyhedral abstraction. The first one uses an assembly solver to sample an arbitrary model which can be very fast but may not generate well. The interval-based one uses the symbolic interval abstraction to sample extreme models which can be expensive. So to balance the quality of the sample model and the cost of the sampling, our final solution interleaves the two modes. We have applied our techniques to two practical clients, namely static bug finding and constraint random fuzzing. Specifically, we have selected 10 real-world projects for the second client. In total, we collected near 60,000 queries from the clients. First, for symbolic interval abstraction, we compare against several state-of-the-art OMT servers. Specifically, they can reduce the bit-vector OMT solving problem to max set formulas and to quantify the bit-vector formulas. Our approach can achieve 2.1 to 70.6 times speed ups. In addition, we can solve 12 to 320 more queries. Second, for symbolic polyhedral abstraction, we compare against several state-of-the-art approach in the symbolic abstraction literature. Our approach can achieve 2.4 times to 3.6 times speed ups. Besides, on average, it can solve 188 more queries. You may check our paper for more experiments. To summarize, in this work, we have proposed two efficient algorithms for symbolic interval and polyhedral abstraction, respectively. We have also applied our approach to two practical applications. For future work, we would like to explore the use of parallelization for better scalability to consider more stereos and domains and to explore more possible applications. Actually, symbolic abstraction has deep, wide, and beautiful connections with many problems in computer science. We hope to encourage more exploration of this problem in our community, and perhaps our work could provide a new insight into other problems. Thank you.